My name is Atsuko Okatsuka, and I am a stand-up comedian in Los Angeles. About last year, I got a Facebook message asking me to perform for this celebrity's mini birthday gathering. It wasn't stand-up. They wanted me to play a character. They wanted me to play the celebrity's ex-girlfriend from Tokyo, uh, who ended up having his kids and is now crashing the party to confront him about it. We went in for rehearsals, and during the rehearsals, um, they were like, that was great, but can you do it with an accent? So I did, did it with an Asian accent. They were like, great, awesome. On the day of, it'd be great if you could wear like a kimono type thing, you know? So then came the day of the party, and I drove up to the mansion, and there were two security guards that they were sumo wrestlers. Uh, very legit looking sumo wrestlers. I was quite impressed, actually. Uh, I was like, oh, this is a new kind of security. Went in and came geisha dance performers. I was like, oh, okay, this seems like there's a theme going on. But then it was too late and I was I was told it was my turn to go and, you know, make a, make a scene. So as I was walking towards the dinner table of um, a celebrity, I was passing all these waiters, long, long legs, tall, thin, model-like waiters, but white, dressed in kimonos and uh, hair up in like geisha-like fashion, white powdered faces, red lipstick, eyeliner to make their eyes look small. Uh, I was passing them, but it was sort of too late. I was being led into the dining room. And when I went in there, I did my scene. I am proud though that I didn't wear a kimono uh, because I said, okay, let's see, my character is from Tokyo in 2016. I think I would wear jeans. But it was sort of like a nightmare. As I was doing my scene, everyone was laughing. In my head, I just remember seeing teeth, you know, teeth and red lips. Everyone was dressed like a kabuki theater person. The celebrity actually was dressed as a karate guy, and they were all laughing, either at me or with me. And I realized that everyone there of Asian descent were the butt of the jokes. Everyone there hired to perform at this event were like for their entertainment in that they could laugh at us. Most recently though, I did get an audition uh, to play another Japanese person, uh, but it was set in the 1800s, so I did show up to the audition with a kimono on. See, that's the right time to wear a kimono. Thanks for watching. If you'd like to hear more stories about race in America, please feel free to like and subscribe to Snarl, and also check out Ethnically Ambiguous with Shireen and Anna.